God saves Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. O oh Lord, you have examined my heart and know everything about me. Psalm 139 verse 1. Daniel 3. King Nebuchadnezzar ruled over Babylon. One day, he came to Jerusalem, attacked the city and completely destroyed it. He broke down God's temple and captured the Jews as slaves. Nebuchadnezzar was a proud and self-centered king and thought he was the best. He ordered the chief of his court officials to pick out some of the Israelites who were handsome, intelligent and well informed from the royal family and qualified to serve in the king's palace in Babylon. Nebuchadnezzar gave special orders that they should eat some of the king's food and drink some of his wine. But some of these young men wanted to keep themselves pure before God and decided not to eat and drink what King Nebuchadnezzar offered them to eat. Some of the young men who were chosen to do service in the king's palace came from the Israelite kingdom of Judah. They were Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael and Azariah. But the chief official gave them new Babylonian names and they became known as Balthazar, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. God gave these four young men knowledge and understanding of all kinds of literature and learning. When King Nebuchadnezzar questioned them, he found their answers to be ten times better than the answers of any of his other counselors and magicians. God's presence was with them and he blessed them. King Nebuchadnezzar was full of himself and decided to make a giant golden statue of himself. He put the statue on display where everyone could see it and commanded everyone to bow down to the statue and to worship it. He warned everyone, If you do not bow down to my golden statue, I will throw you into the fire and you will be burned alive. When the people heard the sound of all kinds of music, which announced that they had to bow down to the statue, they immediately fell down and worshipped the golden statue. They said to Nebuchadnezzar, Long live the king! One day, some people came to King Nebuchadnezzar and said, There are some Jews who refuse to worship the golden statue you have set up. Who dares to disobey me? The king was furious. He wanted everyone to worship him. Sadrach, Meshach and Abednego, your majesty, they answered. The king was furious and filled with rage. He summoned Sadrach, Meshach and Abednego and asked them, Is it true that you do not serve my gods and that you do not worship my statue? Do you not know that I will throw anyone who does not worship me into the fire? Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego answered King Nebuchadnezzar saying, O king, we do not need to defend ourselves against you. There is only one true God. If you throw us into the fire to be burned alive, the God we serve is able to save us and will rescue us. But even if God does not save us, we want you to know, O king, that we will not serve your gods and will not bow down or worship the golden statue you have set up. The king was angry. He commanded that the fire should be seven times hotter than even before. Then he told some of his strongest soldiers to tie up Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego and throw them into the fire. The soldiers grabbed them, tied them up and threw them into the fire, clothes and all. The fire was huge and extremely hot. The flames were everywhere. The soldiers threw Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego into the fire. And when the soldiers came close, they were killed by the blaze too. King Nebuchadnezzar jumped to his feet and asked his advisors, What is this I see? Did I not command three men to be thrown into the fire? They replied, Certainly, O king. Look, there are four men walking around in the fire. I ordered these three men to be tied up. Now there are four of them and they are walking around unharmed. God sent an angel to protect Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. Come out! The king called to them and they came out of the fire. They weren't hurt at all. The king's royal advisors and governors gathered around to inspect them. They saw that the fire had not harmed their bodies. 
Their clothes were not scorched and they did not even smell like smoke. Then King Nebuchadnezzar said, Truly, the God you serve is the one true God. Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego trusted God and were more obedient to him than an earthly king. He sent his angel to rescue his servants and protected them from harm. When we remain true to God, he blesses us and protects us. We are safe in his arms. Here we discover that God helps us to stand strong. Memorize. The God we serve can rescue us from the roaring fire. But even if he doesn't, we still won't serve your gods or worship the golden statue you set up. Daniel 3 verse 17 to 18.